Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to One Dollar to the Knife, episode 15. So if you didn't know, this is the reason why we started with one dollar and do trade ups to try and get a very good knife. And as of the last episode of this series, we now have over $153, so let's just go on to the trade ups for this video. So for this video, we will be doing 8 trade ups, most of them will be broken fang trade ups as the operation is about to end. And you will want to abuse trade ups involving operation broken fang inputs while they are still dropping. So let's go on to our first trade up. So first trade up will be a normal restricted broken fang slash spectrum 2 trade up. And you will be using 5 field tested broken fang skins for around 59 to 61 cents and 5 minimal wire spectrum 2 skins for around 53 to 57 cents. So the average float for this trade-up needs to be less than 0.15 trees. So to achieve this, I recommend using field tested inputs with an average of around 0.22 and minimal wear inputs with an average of around 0.08. So the total cost of the trade-up will be around $5.80. For the outcomes, you'll be getting around $6 with the M4A for cybersecurity, then $5 with the USP monster mashup, then lose around $1 to $3 with the rest of the outcomes. So this trade up is not really all that good since the profitability is quite low but these inputs are quite easy to get. As you can see I have field tested inputs with floats around 0.24. Also I will be showing a better version of this trade up later so make sure to stay tuned. So for the first trade up, let's see what we're going to get. Nice we got an M for cybersecurity that is the best outcome. But in this series I always seem to get lucky with the cheap trade ups but my luck runs out by the end, so hopefully that doesn't happen here. So next trade up will be an improved version of the first trade up. So this will be another restricted broken fang slash spectrum 2 trade up. And you'll again be using 5 field tested broken fang inputs and 5 minimal wire spectrum 2 inputs. So if you compare it to the first trade up, not much has changed. But actually, the average float for this trade up needs to be less than 0 0.1477. So Make sure to use field tested inputs with an average float of around 0.21 and minimal wear inputs with an average float of around 0.08. So the total cost of the trade up will again around be $5.84. For the outcomes, the M4 cybersecurity and the USP monster mashup will still be around a $5 profit. But by keeping the average float below 0.1477, we will now get the 5.7 fairy tale in minimal wear condition. So that will now be a $3 profit. Then, the rest of the Spectrum 2 skins will still be around a $2 loss. So this is a way better trade up than the first trade up, but the floats will be a little bit harder to get, so keep that in mind. So for the second trade up, let's see what we're going to get. Oh, 2 for 2, very nice. That's another 5 or $6 profit, and I will take that. But hopefully, our luck will not run out. So on to the third trade up, we will be doing a Mulspec stat track broken fang slash chroma tree trade up. So I have discussed a lot of similar trade ups to this before. So we will be using 6 minimal wear broken fang skins and 4 factory new chroma tree skins. And you need to keep the average float below 0.07 so just use minimal wear skins with an average float of around 0.085 and factory new skins with an average float of around 0.035. So the total cost of the trade up will be around $7. For the outcomes, the AWP exoskeleton will be a $20 profit, then the two scouts will be a $3 to $6 profit, and the rest of the outcomes will basically be around a break even. So this is a trade up that I've been doing quite a lot in this series. And as you can see, the profitability is very high and the floats are not that hard to get. So make sure to try this one out as it is a really, really nice trade up. So for the third trade up, let's see what we're going to get. The XM black tie that is still a profit, so I will take that. So on to trade up number four, we will now be doing a factory new restricted broken fang trade up. And you'll be using 6 minimal wear broken fang skins for around $1.20 each and 4 factory new breakout skins for around $1.15 each. So the average float for this trade up needs to be less than 0 0.0714. So to achieve this, I recommend using minimal wear skins with an average float of around 0 0.09 and factory new breakout skins with an average float of around 0 0.03. So the total cost of the trade up will add up to $11.80. For the outcomes, 
The only thing we will be wanting to get in this trade up will be the M4A for cybersecurity, which will be a $17 profit. Then, the USP Monster Mashup will give us around a $5 profit, and the rest of the outcomes will give us losses of around $3 to as much as $9. So, this is another nice trade up with floats not that hard to get. So, let's see what we're going to get. 3, 2, 1. Ah, oh, man, we got the 5 7 fairy tale, but. That does come in in a very low float, and I will be asking overpay for this, so that is decent compensation. So on to the fourth trade up, we'll again be doing a similar trade up, but this time instead of breakout skins, we'll be using danger zone skins instead. So this will again be 6 minimal wear broken fang skins, and 4 factory new danger zone skins. So the average float for this trade up needs to still be less than 0 0.0714, so... So just use the floats I said in the last trade up for this trade up also. So the total cost of the trade up will still be around $12. For the outcomes, it will pretty much be the same, and you'll be getting $16 with the M4 Cybersecurity, then $4 with the USB Monster Mashup, and lose around $3 to $5 with the rest of the outcomes. So this trade up is slightly more profitable than the last trade up. But low float factory new danger zone skins are a little bit harder to get, so keep that in mind. So for the fifth trade up, let's hope to get a profit here. G2 1. We got the USP Monster mashup. That is still a very small profit, so I am still quite happy about that. So on to the sixth trade up, we will still be doing a restricted broken fang trade up, but this time a stat track one. So this will be very similar to the first trade up I showed you guys. And you'll be using 5 stat track field tests and broken fang skins for around $1.25 each, and 5 minimal wear spectrum 2 skins for around $1.63 each. So the average float for this trade up needs to be less than 0 0.153, so to achieve this, I recommend using field tested skins with floats less than 0 0.225, and minimal wear spectrum 2 skins with floats less than 0 0.08. So the total cost of the trade up will be around $14.50. For the outcomes, the M4 will again be the best profit with around a $20 profit, then the USP Monster Mashup will be an $18 profit, and the rest of the outcomes will be losses of around $4 to $9. So as I said, this is very similar to the first trade up I showed, and if you can break the average float down to 0.1477, this will be a lot more profitable. So make sure to keep that in mind. So for the sixth trade up of this video, let's see what we're going to get. 3, 2, 1. Fuck, we got the worst outcome. This will come out in field tested, but it will come out in a very low float, so at least I can get some overpay for this. But this will still be a very bad loss for me. So, moving on to the 7 trade up, we'll be doing a restricted stat track fracture trade up. So, for this trade up, we'll be using 7 field tested fracture skins for around $1.60 each and 5 stat track minimal wear spectrum 2 skins for around $1.80 each. So the average float for this trade up needs to be less than 0.2. So to achieve this, I recommend using field tested fracture skins with floats less than 0.25 and minimal wear spectrum 2 skins with floats less than 0.085. So the total cost of the trade up will be around $16.50. For the outcomes, we will have a 70% chance to get a fracture skin which will be a profit of at least 5 to $7. Then, we will have a 30% chance to lose around $6 to $11 with the rest of the Spectrum 2 skins, but this will still be a profitable trade up. So this trade up is really nice as the field tested fracture skins will be quite easy to get. So it seems that my luck is running out and I do not have much hope for this trade up so... Let's just go on with it. 3, 2, 1. Okay, nice. You got an M4 Tooth Fairy. That is more than a $7 profit. So that is really, really nice. But hopefully, we still have some luck left for the last trade up. So on to the last trade up. This will obviously be the most expensive trade up. And for this trade up, you'll be using 6 minimal wear broken fang skins for around $3.70 each. And for factory new skins from random collections like the Breakout, the Spectrum 1, the Danger Zone, and the Chroma Tree collections. So the reason I used factory new skins is to bring the average float down to 0 0.0714. 
So make sure to use minimal risk skins with slow stats in 0.1 and factory new skins with slow stats in 0.035. So the total cost of the trade up will be around $38. For the outcomes, there will be a lot of outcomes since we used a lot of inputs. But the only thing we would want to get in this trade up will be the M4A for cybersecurity, which will be a $56 profit, and also the SP Monster Mashup, which will be around a $20 profit. So, for the last trade up for this video, I do not have much hope, but let's see what we're going to get. 3, 2, 1. Yeah! Fuck yeah! We got the M4 Cyber. So I got a little too worked up there, so sorry about that, but I am just really happy that I got the cybersecurity in Statra Factory New. And that was a very, very huge profit. So of course, I am very, very happy about it. So this video is definitely a big success, so I'll be back to compute the profits or losses for this video, so be right back. So for this video, the total cost of all of the trade-ups is $97.09, and we got a profit of $72.39. So adding that to our running total from the last video, we will now have $225.52 for this series, so that is really 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 nice. So anyway, I'll be giving away a USB Cortex for this video, so if you want to enter, just check out the pinned comment down below. Also, here are 5 very cheap and very low risk trade-ups that you can do in 2021. Also, make sure to join my Discord server, link will be in the description. Anyway, this is Elsu and peace out.